Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I am here with the best CPUs of April 2014. I'm actually recording this in March, but whatever. Uh, I doubt things will really change and if they do, then this video will be deleted and I won't put it up. Um, so yeah, I figured I might record this early because I need to get some commentating done. Also, just FYI for people who actually follow my channel, this is my first video with a pop filter because I bought one and it's it's nice. I haven't really noticed much of a difference in commentaries, but you know, it's nice to have. Um, mounting it is a pain though, I will admit. Anyways, getting into the video. For the first CPU on the AMD FX6300, uh, this is a great CPU, it's 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, it's a Vishera CPU, not much more I could say there. Uh, it's six cores, which is insanely good for gaming now that even the consoles are using eight cores, don't get me wrong, they're much less powerful cores um, running on an AMD Jaguar. But, you know, this will do just fine for gaming. Even a CPU like an Athlon X4 750K is more than enough, or I wouldn't say more than enough, but it's enough for gaming. Uh, moving on to the next CPU, on the AMD FX8350. Um, this is a 4 gigahertz processor. It's great, honestly, for things like editing and um, even gaming. For gaming, it's awesome because gives you full eight cores, which will, you know, allow you to use any graphics card you want without quote-unquote bottlenecking. Um, not much more I can really say there. For the third CPU, on the Intel Core i7 4930K. Um, this is a great CPU, especially for editing. Um, for gaming, you really don't need this. For gaming, the max I'd really recommend is probably an FX8350, because anything more than that, you won't get much more FPS, except for in games like, you know, Arma or crisis or something like that you know uh, but this CPU is amazing for editing whether you're gonna be editing in Premiere or like layering effects in Adobe After Effects or using Sony Vegas heavily as I do a lot um, yeah it's a great CPU uh, for the fourth CPU on the AMD A10 7850k now this is an APU and um, with this you can get some great great value especially in you know, mini ITX builds being that it's, uh, you don't need a full size graphics card. In fact, you don't need a graphics card at all. It's built into the CPU, which is why it's an APU. Um, so you can, you know, uh, get a mini ITX rig, even like a very small mini ITX rig and not have a problem at all with this. It's great for living room consoles or just, you know, PC console replacement type things. So yeah, for the fifth CPU, I'm with the AMD Athlon X4 750K. Now, this is really as low as I'd go uh, with a CPU just nowadays uh, because you know you can go with something like a Intel Core i3 if you really want to if you're just going to be gaming because that has you know hyper threading and um, things like that but really just for the extra core count I think it helps a lot here as with the i3 I'd rather a higher core count than hyper threading whereas you know the i7 that's a different story especially CPUs like the 4930k but I really do like the CPU a lot and it can you know if you're gonna run this with like a, a GTX 750 Ti or like R9 260X or something like that it will run just fine and you'll be able to game to your heart's content so yeah like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new here I post content every other day thanks for watching and peace